I want to show you a picture this week. Here it is. There we go. I'll make it. I'll make it a bit bigger when I put it put it up. Um, this is a picture of me. Oh, I'm going to say when I was probably about eight, maybe nine at primary school, and. The point about the picture is that if I put it sort of next to me, you can see that very little has changed in the uh, 28 or 30 years or so since this pic. What? What? Well, however many years, don't make personal remarks. However many years, you can see that I'm still as fresh faced and cherubic as I was then is my point. But <clears throat> the thing about a, a photograph is that it's useful. We, we, we do it all the time with our, with our phones and um, we are of that age now where uh, imagery is, is vital and we can pick up on, on things that have changed and we can see how things have gone on. When we go to say something like an x-ray or an MRI, it's a little bit harder. And the trouble is, is that you have an x-ray and it's a photograph or an MRI, it's an image and you have this image. And from there, you have to make a decision as to whether something is then wrong. It's a diagnostic uh, uh, sort of thing. You know, you go, well, here's an x-ray. It tells you that something's broken or something is, is damaged. And that's okay if you're looking for something like a broken bone. I had my collarbone broken and, um, it, you know, they took an x-ray. Yes, it's broken and it's not very set. And so therefore we, uh, we operate. Um, an MRI, a little bit more detail, but neither of these images are functional and neither of these images give us an idea of what's gone on before. So we don't have any comparison. So when we have things like back pain or uh, musculoskeletal pain, even when it's really, really severe, uh, we need to be really careful about things like x-rays that we think are telling us something, but actually may not be telling us anything other than what our uh, back or our spine or, what our, or our hips, for example, look like now. Now, without the comparison as to what they look like 3, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, it's very hard to say that um, that problem has come from, you know, the pain that we have is coming from the problem that we then see on the x-ray. And back pain and spines is a really good example of that. So you might go, well, um, let's compare the spine to normal. Well, what's normal? Um, you know, there isn't a normal, like with asthma, we can say, well, this is what you should be blowing as far as your lung capacity is concerned. Um, and that's been gathered from testing millions of people who haven't got asthma and finding out what that, what sort of normal means. We can't do that as far as spines are concerned. So, you know, you can put a hundred spines up on the wall and, and look for the one that's in pain. Um, and you could find a really gnarly looking one that's got lumps and things sticking out of it all over the place. And you go, well, yeah, that's got to hurt. And actually the person behind it has got no pain whatsoever. And you find one that's, you know, textbook and looks normal. And, uh, and of course they, they've got chronic pain. So the, the actual visual of something um, isn't really helpful. And here's a statement that I think Robert Schleip mentions it, but it's, it's a well-known statement is that most people that have back pain don't have a bulging disc or disc issues. And most people with disc issues or bulging discs don't have back pain. So just finding a bulging disc or finding some kind of wear and tear on x-ray doesn't mean to say that that's the cause of it, even if it's, you know, even if it looks quite severe. So what's going to be more likely the cause of your pain? Well, it's the number on your, your birth certificate. The older you are, then the more likely you are to experience back pain and no x-ray in the world is, is, is gonna help you. So we have to be careful of, of imaging that comes up that presents itself as some kind of conclusive evidence that something is going on, which actually it doesn't. It's a snapshot in time and uh, it, it doesn't necessarily tell us uh, what's going wrong. Same thing goes for MRI. You know, we do it lying down, uh, we're not standing up, we don't have gaps, we don't have changes in our, our joints or anything like that. So we have to be very careful about leaping to assumptions about, about the imagery uh, that we have, unless we have, of course, a before and after. You know, if we're looking at a progressive uh, condition or a progressive disease, then of course these images are always gonna be helpful. And I'm not saying every image is pointless, I'm just saying that we need to be really careful about assigning things like an X-ray that we get sent to by the car practice or the hospital, what have you, uh, that then is taken as um, demonstration or proof that something is going on and therefore X, Y, and Z needs to happen. Um, 
people often bring me x-rays and they say, oh, I've got this wear and tear. And I'm like, well, you, you, pretty much every um, radio, <laughs> radiologist report that you're going to see of, of anybody, over, particularly over the age of 45 or 50, is going to say wear and tear. But unless there's something specific in relation to that report, then it's always going to be general. So look out for the imaging. Be careful of something, a picture that doesn't tell you exactly what it is unless it's a picture of a cute I'm not showing my baby pictures not going to happen I don't think I got any anyway we didn't take pictures in those days and uh, we were all sort of you know too busy um <laughs> too busy out working and in the coal mines when I was a lad I was lucky anyway this is what I think this is what's going on um so what do you think have you had an x-ray and had lots of investigative procedures from it um do you do you rely on them yourself uh, let me know, put your uh, comments below. Uh, please hit like, subscribe, share the video, do the things we're supposed to do on social media. I'm not one for doing things I'm supposed to do, but please do it anyway. And I'll see you next time.